Hi guys, well here's the 73 Valiant again, and getting ready to do some uh, maintenance work on it and service it and that kind of thing. Uh, it's been sitting up a long time evidently, so I need to go ahead and do that. I thought I would just do a little bit of a video tour of this engine compartment. You know, it's not not often that you see a totally uh, unmodified engine compartment on a car this old. Most of the time, uh, we've, you know, they've had a lot of stuff changed around, parts been changed, this, that, and the other. So you don't see that very often, especially if you have one that somebody's totally rebuilt, which there ain't anybody going to rebuild one of these, not a Valiant. But, uh, you know, like a swinger or a scamp or a duster, uh, they always, you know, go through and repaint and clean and rebuild, and that's fine. That's that's what you do. But uh, I thought I would just show this that this is what one of these cars looks like if it's not ever had, as far as I can tell, anything ever done to it uh, outside of just routine maintenance and a couple replacement items, which I'll show you. Like the radiator was replaced, the battery was replaced. But let's start over here. We've got the washer tank. You see over the years it's looks like it has uh, been seeping a little bit of stuff out there on the metal. Here's your engine sticker. Of course it does say 1973. Looks like the original battery cable right there goes down to the starter and I have every reason to believe that's the original starter. Uh, got your battery hold down, you got your fender tag there. Over here, look at this. This is a surprise. This thing has the original Chrysler electronic ignition box on it. And it does look bad, but this one has not overheated and leaked like most of them do. So it's all just it's as original as it can be and that may be the original ballast, who knows. Uh, of course you can see this inner fender is getting pretty crusty back here. It's got I wonder what this is. I see, you see these around on northern cars. I'm pretty well certain that is where they spray undercoating in. And then you got Looks here is the original electronic voltage regulator. You pay big bucks for one of those now, original. You see it's got a date code on it. This car was, let me see here. This car was built, um, this car was built in, my, uh, excuse me, uh, when was it? This car was built in 9 of 1972, so that's what? Um, September. So the date code on that regulator right there, you look there, that's 352 is what it is. That's the date code. That means it was built the 35th week of 1972. So probably right around the time the car was built. And boy, that master cylinder looks cruddy, doesn't it? So you got all the original wiring under there. And I like stuff like this because this is all original. It's not been, you know, you can try hard to make stuff look original, but if it's not, it ain't. So, there's the, back, uh, the ID tag for the wiper motor. It's the air cleaner. It's got the, you know, I don't, somebody can tell me where you can get these kind of hoses anymore. I've never seen any more of these fabric type hoses, intake hoses, ever. They're all chromey looking. Let's see, there is the, don't worry a hole in that, but there's all the original vacuum lines. Now take a look at this. This is amazing. People rip these off first thing. But this device here you're looking at right there, that's a called a vacuum amplifier. And it's got one hose there leads over to the intake. It's got a vacuum source. And then one goes well, okay. 
excuse you one goes over here now what this is leads over here this has got you look at that that actually has a little bit of a foam filter supposed to have it's got the remains of it on that little attachment that's just a metered fresh air inlet and then the other one goes to the carburetor and then that one goes down to the EGR valve and then you have a line which comes from the base of the carburetor right in there see that one leading over diagonally that comes around and that runs over to the OSAC valve you see it says carb oops carb right there and then the other side leads down to the distributor advance now you get on the forums and they, everybody says oh first thing you gotta take that off that just that doesn't run right with that on there and yada yada da blah 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 so you got that going on but I'm not gonna worry about it right now I'll see how it runs I don't like to disturb originality it's not like a slant six runs that good anyway I mean not that powerful anyway so and you got the wire for the choke it runs right over there that's the choke controller that's that little thermostatic thing there that decides to base based on the temperature outside whether it needs to assist the electric choke or not the car over there has the same thing now I can tell you this thing has not been tuned up or had the oil changed in it for quite a long time because you see that oil filter that's a good old Fram oil filter and that thing is so old that it does not even have the grip on the end of it like they all have now so so this this thing is <laughs> it's original that's for sure I'll show you something else here real quick you know how you got an original alternator this uh, the 74 there has the same thing see this little tag right there it's got a part number on it well if you were able to see the rest of it under there it says it'll probably say 35 amp or 50 amp or something like that so so okay guys I'm going to get doing a little bit of tinkering with this and I'm going to change the oil filter and tune it up and uh, run the valves on it and see how it runs in and then we'll see if we need to go into that carburetor oh yeah I was going to show you something let's take another little peek under here looking at this carburetor I happen to see something you see that right there you see that thing looks like a screw head where you put a screwdriver in that's actually a plastic limiter cap on the carburetor mixture screw and they put these on these cars back in the day to keep people from running it too far lean or too far rich and upsetting the emissions on it so amazingly enough and I see something else there too I see a uh, it looks like there's a I guess that's just a join right there but this card has not been touched man you don't see that very much man it's all original so I wouldn't doubt that old car is probably pretty gunked up inside but we'll see we'll get to that bridge when we we'll burn that bridge when we get to it for now though I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon doing the most interesting thing I can think of, and that is wrenching on the Mopar. So, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, tune back in. There'll be more to come. See you around.